Hey guys, it's Ashley Hoffman and I'm back again with Nails Next Top Nail Artist for Season 6, Challenge 2. This time it was sponsored by Mia Secret and the theme was Safari. For this challenge, we were asked to create a Safari themed mani across 10 nail tips. We were asked to only use Mia Secret's new Pastel Macaroons collection and Grey Jungle collection. Here are some of the inspiration photos that I used to create this set. For my first nail, I decided to do a watering hole. I started by laying the colored acrylic down the center of the nail to represent the water. Then using various colored acrylics, I did the shading throughout the body of the water. Then using green acrylic, I filled in the sides to represent the grass. To give the grass texture, I used a nail tip, dipped in a little bit of acrylic so the drying acrylic would not stick to the tip. To finish this design, I added a few lily pads at the top and the bottom of the watering hole. I started this next design by ombreing several colors for my background. To paint the clouds, the grass, and the mountains, I used a very wet consistency for the acrylic, almost like painting it onto the nail. For the elephants in the foreground, I used a regular consistency of acrylic so I can manipulate it into elephants. This nail was created very much like the elephant nail. I ombre several colors for the background, then using a wet consistency acrylic, I painted on the ground and the clouds and also the reflection of the elements. Then with a little bit drier of a bead, I sculpted out the tree and the giraffes. For the acacia tree nail, I first ombre the background. Then using wet acrylic, I went in and I traced out where I wanted my trees to be. Then I used a brown acrylic to paint the trunks of the trees. Then using the dark green acrylic, I went in with a thicker consistency and then using the tip of my brush added texture. For my bird, I started off sculpting it in clear acrylic. Then I covered it in all different pastels, then added shading. Next to give the feathers, I did several different colors using a petal technique to represent feathers. The branch that he's perched on is actually a nail tip that is covered in acrylic, textured, and cut to look like a branch. For the elephant, I started with a tapered square nail tip. I covered it in gray acrylic and sculpted out his facial features. Then I sculpted out his trunk and curled it up and over. I added a little bit of pink for the underside to give it a realistic look. Then I added detail and shading to his ears and trunk. With an electric file, I added in detail lines throughout his trunk and ears. Finishing touch was to add the tusks. For the flamingo, I started off with a nail tip and covered it in pink acrylic. I sculpted out the rest of the body with that same acrylic. Then using pink and orange acrylic, I sculpted out the feathers, then gave texture to the neck, and shaded it using a light gray acrylic. To start the crocodile nail, I first sculpted out the log using colored acrylic over a nail tip. Then I made his body and his upper and lower jaw. To make his teeth, I used clear acrylic and pressed a nail tip in them to cut little markings in the acrylic. Then I painted those with white gel polish. Then I covered his body in green acrylic and also added the little dots and markings throughout his body. Then I made his feet and his hands out of colored acrylic as well. For the zebra, I sculpted up the shape of his head and his ears over a nail tip. Then I covered it all with dark gray acrylic. Using a wet consistency bead, I used a light gray to paint on the stripes and to paint his ears and nose. Then I sculpted out his eyes and added his nose to give it a 3D effect. I then sculpted out his hair and attached it with clear acrylic. To finish off the details of his nose, I used wet consistency acrylic. For my last nail design, I wanted to do an NTNA Safari Jeep. I started by sculpting out with clear acrylic over a nail tip the shape of my Jeep. Then with an e-file, I carved out the shape and the windows. Using a wet consistency of acrylic, I colored in my Jeep and the wheel wells. Then to make my wheels, I used a dark gray acrylic and I used a pen cap to press in the details of the rims.
Then using gel polish, I painted out the details and made my sign. And here is my final design altogether. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you to Nails Magazine and Mia Secret for sponsoring this competition. Also, follow me through this competition and be sure to vote. The voting link will be in my bio and the description below.